this is my bike. It's old and it's rusty and actually I got it for free from my neighbor. Now it's great for riding around my neighborhood and maybe hitting up the local shops. And I suppose if I was motivated, I could ride to work. Frankly, I'm not interested in showing up to work all sweaty. Now, I could get an electric bike, but I also live in San Francisco where space is an issue. But there is an alternative. The Geo Orbital is an electric wheel that replaces your bike's current front wheel and has all the necessary ingredients to turn your bicycle into an electric powered dynamo. Well, maybe dynamo isn't the correct term. With a top speed of 20 miles an hour, you're more than likely to be passed by someone wearing spandex. But who cares? You're not sweating. The company says it only takes 60 seconds to replace the wheel, and they're not too far off. The wheel is a snap to put on the bike, and my biggest obstacle was adjusting the front brake. Adjusting the throttle also took a bit of trial and error, but thanks to the quick release lever, I could do it while on the go. Now, if you've ever ridden an ATC or a quad runner, you'll recognize the thumb power design of the throttle. Now, you just depress it and go, easy peasy. That is until you get a bit of a thumb cramp. The ride is pleasant, but a bit noisy. Now, you can strap down the battery to reduce that if you want. Now, it's not fast enough to be exciting, but you're moving without really pedaling. Now, you can pedal, but you don't have to. That is, unless you encounter a hill. You're gonna have to pump those legs to make it to the top, especially if you're like me and you weigh over 200 pounds. In fact, thanks to the hills and my large frame, I pushed the Geo Orbital wheel to its limits. During initial rides, bits of rubber came off the rubber wheel that drives it. Those bits got into the guide wheels and the Geo Orbital reacted with a rougher, louder ride. I moved the bits and the bike went back to normal. But when you drop $1,000 on a wheel, you're probably gonna want it to be a bit more robust out of the box. And that's the thing with the Geo Orbital wheel. It's pricey. Now, it's also very convenient, so that's what you're paying for. It's easy to pull the front tire off and swap it with your other tire. You can pull the battery out and put in another battery for extra long rides. And these foam tires, they never go flat. The thing is, the Geo Orbital wheel costs way more than most people's bikes. It costs more than mine. It's made for people with multi-thousand dollar bicycles who spend their weekends riding hundreds of miles. And maybe, during the week, they just want to commute without sweating. The Geo Orbital Wheel's $1,000 price tag means it's something that I can't afford, and I definitely wouldn't put on my $0 bike. In fact, I wouldn't even put it on my old $500 bike. But if you're the kind of person who spends more on their bike than they do on a car, it does deliver on its electric promise, as long as you're cool with a little clanking while you're riding. <laughs>